Hey there, welcome to the CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget entitled, What's the Difference Between a Parameter, Argument, and a Switch? My name is Tim Warner. Now I guess, speaking in binary terms, you either know what I'm talking about or you don't know what I'm talking about with this question. If you're a software developer, that is, you have any experience with computer programming and you've written at least one function, or frankly, just run a function that was already made for you, then you probably have seen the terms argument or parameter. On the other hand, you could be a systems administrator who uses shell scripting or maybe Windows PowerShell. So you've seen, again, those terms used as ways to modify the running of executable code. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about how do we run a function, and we'll define function in just a second, our way. A function, if you go to Wikipedia, they have a very geeky propeller head definition that says a function is a relationship between a set of inputs, data that you put into that function, and a set of outputs called return values. I often think of a coffee hopper, a coffee grinder. My aunt Diana has an old fashioned crank one where you pour in the coffee beans, crank with your hand, and out comes the ground coffee. We could look at the coffee mill as the function. It does work. It gives you usable ground coffee. The input would be the beans. The output would be the powdered or pulverized beans. Now, yes, depending upon the language, traditionally you have a single return value from a function. We're not going to get to that level of geekdom here. Here we're concerned basically with semantics. Semantics deals with language and word meaning. The reason why I thought of this particular subject, it happened during one of my afternoon runs, is that I thought to myself, you know, these terms, parameter, argument, and switch, are often used synonymously. Are they actually synonyms? I knew that parameter and argument, strictly speaking, are not synonyms, although they're closely related, but how are they related to switch? And of course, all three of those come down to the function, which beyond this geeky definition, which probably doesn't make sense to a lot of people at face value, we can consider in programming a function as just some reusable element of work. And I'll give you an example of a simple function in just a moment. So speaking of semantics, this is my understanding of the difference between parameter, argument, and switch. And I'm very much interested in learning your take on the matter. Please feel free to leave comments in the comments portion of this video. I am a daily YouTuber, so I'll respond and we can get a conversation going here. My understanding is that a parameter occurs during the definition of your function. It defines your input or inputs. And depending upon the programming language, you may need to declare a data type for those parameters or not. An argument are inputs that are actually passed to the function at runtime. So arguments and parameters are intimately associated. They refer to the same data. It just deals with whether we're at design time or runtime with those inputs. Now that's pretty well standard. If you do a Google search on the difference between parameter and argument, you'll find that that's pretty well accepted. I know how to find anything using search engines. That having been said, I found very little on exactly what a switch is. We take it for granted, and this goes back to Unix Linux. We're not even constraining ourselves to Windows or OS X, which of course OS X recurses back to Unix. My understanding of a switch is that this is an option that modifies the behavior of a piece of executable code at runtime, similar to, yes, an argument. So this could be a binary executable, it could be a shell script, it could be a PowerShell commandlet. So it's basically an argument with a familiar interface. In Windows, you typically have the forward slash. You've got some kind of command like ping, and then you'll do forward slash question mark to modify the output of this command. With PowerShell, you have your commandlet and then one or more optional switches. Now again, if you go into the documentation in MSDN, if you're writing your own commandlet, these are actually called parameters in the code. So again, we come back to that crazy semantic issue. Let's put it this way, friends. If I were to encapsulate this micro nugget into a single sentence, it is. My goal is for you to know what somebody's talking about when you're looking at a piece of documentation and they use parameter, argument, or switch. I want you to be intelligently equipped to say, okay, I know what they're talking about here. Now let me give you a quick example of parameters and arguments by using Python. 
I have Python 3 installed on my Windows 7 workstation. I'm using the idle integrated development environment. And I'm going to create a simple function that generates a pseudo random number between one and the maximum number that you specify at runtime. So first I'm going to do my module import. I need the random module here. And now I'll create a function called randnum that takes one. Is this a parameter or an argument? This is a parameter, right? I'll call the variable maxnum. In Python, we don't have to worry about data typing. And I'll formulate a return variable called response and set that equal to random. And I'm going to run the randint method, specifying one as my low number and maxnum, which will be my runtime argument, as the maximum. And I will return response. OK, so let's do a file save. Now let's test it. We'll choose run, run module, and let's invoke the function rand num, and we'll pass in our argument. Let's say we want the maximum number to be 10. Generated 6. Let's choose 100, and it gives us 15. You see? So that, in a nutshell, is the distinction between a parameter and an argument. With regard to a quote-unquote switch, I'll open up a command prompt session, type a compiled command line utility. I'll just choose trace route at random. And using in Windows, the syntax is forward slash. In Linux, it may be a single dash or a double dash. And now we can see the option. See, that's yet another synonym that we can throw into the mix, a switch or an option. And depending upon how we run the tool, we can run trace route using one or more special arguments slash options slash switches. I certainly hope that I haven't confused you with this lesson. Again, let's exchange ideas in the comments. In the meantime, I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.